Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome and welcome back. Uh, I'm here today to do another M's Scrap Busters Challenge. Uh, that's the challenge run by Melina over at Me Crafty Scrapper. Right, what she did last week is these top flap pockets from junk mail envelopes and collaged them with book pages and some other neutral ephemera. Uh, mine's slightly different partly because I made a boo-boo and had to come up with a way to fix it but interestingly enough the way I fixed it was using another one of Melina's ideas so nice one Melina right let's show you it fastens like that this is the bit that's different to Melina's you open it up and inside I've just got a journal card I've used I've stamped uh, it's the stamp set by Tim Holtz and it's called you don't have to use this at all, but I know people will ask. It's called Papillion. Yeah, it comes with that stamp, that stamp, that one there, and the butterflies that I've stamped on that flap, yeah? If you can see inside, there's some more book page collage behind the window. And, yeah, I've just made a very simple card to put in because it's all about how to do the envelope, really, isn't it? There you go. Now, Melina put a brad there. So she just tied a string round, wrapped it around and wrapped it around that brad. And I got carried away with myself, punched me hole and I put an eyelet in rather than a brad. So I'm like, how on earth am I going to fix it now? So down at the bottom, I've done this little thing there. So there's no brad legs going through to the inside of your envelope. I'll show you how we made that as we get to it. Right, this one wasn't a junk mail envelope because <laughs> I've only got two junk mail envelopes with suitable windows to make this pocket, this project. And I didn't want to muck one up, leaving me only one left for my video. So I used one of these. These are new envelopes. They're just the same window envelopes. In fact, yeah, it's the same size as that one, isn't it? Yeah, and it's cream. So if you've got them, use them. And if you can't get hold of any junk mail envelopes, yeah, use the new ones. Right, let's crack on, show you what we do first. So, decide which side you want your window on. I like mine on right, so I think I'm going to stick to having my window on right. Yeah, um, I think I'll use this bigger one, then it, it'll be slightly different to this. Now, first thing you need to do, you need to cut a sliver off the top of there so it will open up your envelope, yeah? So just a smidgen. If your envelope's far too long, you can cut more off so that you have got a shorter envelope. Right. Then we're going to put something inside the envelope that you're going to see behind the window, yeah? You don't have to if you don't want to. If you've got an envelope with a lovely pattern behind, you can miss this step out. Dead easy. I'm going to pick... I've got a load of... Yeah, I've got my scraps, as usual. If you've not seen my scrap box before, that's my scrap box with all my book pages and neutral bits in. But I've got some book pages that are not quite in good enough condition, really, to stick in journals as pages. You know, ones I've got in packs over years. So I'm just going to pick one of these and stick part of it down. I think I like that one. I like that one. That one's a bit thin. I think I want something a bit more sturdy. I might just go for one of the newer pieces of book page for that. Yeah. Will that fit? Yeah, that'll fit, I think. Yeah. So I'll pop that in there. There we go. I'm going to just rip that down so that I know it's still going to cover window. And I'm going to take it out, then glue it down with the glue of your choice. I'm going to use my trusty Elmer's glue stick because I like it. And that's your starting point. Something else I'm going to do different to Melina is I'm going to be inking with a brush rather than an inking tool today. And the only reason for that is I have no idea what I've done with my new oxide 
yeah walnut stain ink and the inking tool it's it's just not here right this can be a bit of a faffy fiddle so you can see i've just tried to open it up so i can get me thing in oh you silly woman i'm trying to stick it on window instead of stick it on back i've, I've glued wrong side of that how how dumb can one person be so I need to just cut that so that's nice and straight. <laughs> oh, this is not boding well, I tell you. Yeah, not boding well. Don't stick it on the side of the window. Stick it on the back. Okay, the later. Then, you know, I'll get a little bit upset when things aren't straight if we've got writing on. I'm just going to... Do a little bit of jiggling. Am I happy? Yeah, I'm happy with that. Oh, who am I like? Luckily, that's another thing I like about the Elmer's glue stick. It, it doesn't stick instantly. It's really nice. So that gave me time to <laughs> peel that back off. I didn't actually get any glue on inside of my window. So, first bit accomplished. No idea how I accomplished that without a drama. Just going to move my nice one out of the way because I can see some terrible occurring to that. Might use it as a glue book or something, knowing me. Right, once you've done that bit, now's the time to stick your junk mail envelope down. You can see I got a bit giddy opening mine. Hello Fresh, yeah, they sent me another offer. <laughs> I think we'll be having Hello Fresh come next school holiday for a week. Uh, glue, where have you gone? There you go. Yeah, I had them last. We had them last summer. Yeah, we are the people that just have the offer. We have Hello Fresh on the fifty percent off week, and then we don't have it anymore. <laughs> Can't afford Hello Fresh at a full price. It's dearer than my normal shop with fifty percent off. It honestly, it really is. Now, I'm just going to go around that little bit there. That tear. Uh, if you know you're going to be doing projects with your envelopes, just open a bit more carefully than I do. Hmm. But we're going to collage over this anyway, so it doesn't really matter that this is all wobbly and icky looking. Icky looking. Yeah, there we go. Now I'm going to hope that none of my glue has actually uh, stuck my envelope together, because I really don't know if it has. Oh, no, it hasn't. That's why I just put glue along the inside edge of the flap and the inside edge of the main body. I'll just put a smidge of my under there. Oh, kids next door again a bit. Rambunctious. That's a good word for today. Rambunctious. <laughs> it's, yeah, I'm filming it. It's just half an hour after school's kicked out. So, yeah. They're at that age where the, I think, yeah, little one will have just finished what you call in US, kindergarten, and will have gone to elementary. So it's gone from playing all day to sitting in a classroom all day. So yeah, they can get a little bit wild when they come out. I know mine did. Right, so that's that. Next, we're going to make the flap for the top. So, you decide how far down you want it. I mean, you could have it down there covering half at window if you want. I prefer to have it like that. So, it's another no-measure project, this. Ooh, we like them. I did have to measure slightly to make my journal card. Otherwise, I want to know what to put in it. But you may already have some journal cards made. So, that's folded over. We like that. Now we've got a bit of... Precision cutting to do. Precision cutting. I'm even capable of that now. Right. I'm going to... Yeah, I'll use these scissors. No, use your big ones. Can I decide? Can I? Heck? I'm going to cut down there to just past the crease that we've made. And I'm going to do the same again on this one. Don't matter if it's exactly the same place because I'm going to do a bit more cutting with my smaller scissors 
There you go. Now Melina eyeballed this because, she, yeah, she's obviously got straighter eyes than I have. She can see better than me. Now get a ruler or if you can't find your ruler, an emery board will do. So I have no idea what happened to my ruler. Could be anywhere. And I've got a pencil and I'm just going to measure. I'm going to just put, that's where my crease is, yeah? Let's go down about half inch. It's not an exact science. You don't have to do it exact it's about half an inch and i just drew a line so i know where to cut right now if you can get your scissors back in carry on cutting down to where that line is yeah that's why i'm using these we've got points on i can cut to exactly where i want to cut with these there you go. Then we're going to cut this inside flap off just along the crease. Yeah. Now I'm going to fold that over. Again, it doesn't matter that it's folded over on outside because we're going to collage over it. You won't see it. And it's a lot easier than trying to tuck it in. Right. Grab my bit of scrapness I'm going to put that under there so I don't get glue where I don't want it and then I'm going to put the glue on the, the side I want the glue on that would be a brilliant idea wouldn't it on that side you can see why I got all giddy and put an eyelet in instead of a brad or a closure can't you <laughs> right if you need to tidy those edges up go ahead and do it I'm quite happy with mine and for me I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue just under that lip I don't want to take it off because that's helping to strengthen the top of that flap I like it being there so grab your I'm using art glitter and my Elmer's glue stick for this so I'm just gonna grow, put a little bit of glue under there did any come out I don't think it did did it oh, I can see it as now yeah put your pin back in woman and then your glue won't get blocked good girl put lid on your glue stick well done <clears throat> right now we're just going to collage with book page now i use my chopper for this yeah i did a bit of tidy collage today because i use the straight edges of book page to go right up to the edge of the window yeah but i didn't want that white bit so I cut it off. Well, why? It's quite aged on this one, isn't it? Like so. Just like that. And I did put a big piece of book page on this section because I wanted to do a bit of stamping on it. So. Inky. Right, I'm inking my edges with a brush because I've lost me. Uh, Distress Oxide ink pad so I'm using vintage photo for a change <laughs> and I'm using a brush I have no idea where I put them I did move them out at way yesterday because I did have my new laptop arrive so yes I finally got the laptop I've not forgot about it so all you lovely kind people who have donated to my buy me a coffee over the last year or so I set a goal to raise £450 to buy a laptop and I hit that earlier this year but did I go straight out and buy a laptop? No! I waited for a sale so I could get a better laptop for money <laughs> and that sale came this Easter so thank you to everyone who has donated I would never have gone out and bought a laptop had I had enough money to buy a, la buy a laptop it would have gone on something boring like a new fridge freezer but or a car. Do you know what I mean? You just don't, you just do, don't you? Well, you do if you're a mum, I think. Oop. And, and, it, and those of you who have donated since, I did set a new goal to buy a better camera for YouTube. Well, to be honest, it probably won't be a better camera. What it will be is, I've been using this one now for a year and a half and it does overheat 
and stop for no reason at times so it could just be a replacement camera right while I was doing that you saw me putting my glue on and I'm putting this on I'm putting it just up past that edge of the window there you go I'm gonna grab a dry baby wipe to do my pressing down we have stuck it to my desk that weren't intentional I meant to put that back down, but I'm too busy thanking you all for your generosity. Right, I'm going to cut that off there. And then the rest of this book page, I'm just going to fold back onto the back. Oh, it's a foreign one as well, this, I didn't realise that. I just tried to read it, make sure it didn't have naughty words, and I'm like, well, my eye's gone funny. No, it's some other type of language. Couldn't tell you what, because like I say, it was just one of them mixed packs I bought yonks ago. Now I don't buy mixed packs; I sell them because I bought that many books. I've got more than I'm going to use in a million years. But I don't. I wouldn't put mixed packs in my in my mixed packs if they were all look, look like they've been chewed out by a hamster. I wouldn't. But that's just me. Some people like book pages that look like hamsters been nibbling on them. I suppose personally, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> don't know why I chose Amster nibbling it could have been dog or cart couldn't it right and that you just carry on until you've covered it so do I want that no I want some it let's grab what we've got here we go yeah I got a bit of dictionary I saw Melina use dictionary I'm like nice one Melina can't go wrong with a bit of dictionary paper I'm going to cut that straight again Again, if you want to have torn paper out edge of your window, you you do that. I've been watching Tim Alts. I nearly said you do you. <laughs> Nicking Tim Alts' sayings. Yeah, I'm watching him do a bit of collage. Right, I don't want this one to go all the way up. I want a little bit more variety here. So I'm going to rip that. I'm just going to ink that edge. We still, yeah, we're still recording. Just need to check. I'm trying to keep my desk tidy, but it's hard going. It's hard going. I'm not naturally a tidy person while working. Wee. I've probably got enough glue on that just to wrap it straight round back. So, go on, you can do it, woman. You can do it. There we go. I've not gone to the bottom because I'm going to put another piece over there. And just wrap round back. Kill two birds with one stone. That's an awful saying though, isn't it? I'm not going to say that again. I, I find myself coming out with all the things my mum used to say. I really am turning into my mother. Crazy. And then sometimes you say it and you think, mm, that's really not a very appropriate thing to say these days. But it's the cat's out of the bag. I mean, that's another one. Who on earth would put a cat in a bag? Terrible. Right. I think I'm just going to cut straight across on a bit of that because I do really like that. It's nice. It's nice text. But it's got to be straight-ish. I've got to satisfy my control freak side at times. I hate flying, I don't like flying. And someone said to me years ago, that's because I'm a control freak. It's like, oh, I don't think I'm a control freak. So I'm going to tear down there. And tear down there. And along, and then I'll wrap the rest of that book page round back. I'm still not happy, you know, with uh, that. There you go. You should have just cut it with scissors in the first place, woman. Instead of having three goes on paper trimmer and still not being happy. I'm still not happy. Yeah, that'll do me. Doesn't have to be perfect. I like having the ink round this bit round window because I think it just highlights where the window is a little bit better. Right, I need to get rid of that page you know that uh, project I did the other day these will be the pages I glue together ready to make my book page pockets and tags but I've got loads so I just rip them up and put them in the recycling box right 
went off on a tangent there, didn't I? Whee. Whee. So I'm going to do this closure like I did my mistake. Uh, Melina's video is always linked when I do these. So if you want to see how to do them with just one brad on the flap, bob over and have a look at Melina's. I'd always try and do something a bit different on these. Just what's sacred. Sometimes it's on purpose and sometimes it's because things go wrong. But I did want to just collage it just like she did because I love all these neutral book pages and bits and bobs. Right, so I don't think I want all that because I like that bit up there. So I've just turned that off. But so as not to waste it, I'm going to stick it there. There we go. And we're just gradually getting back collaged, aren't we? I'm just going to cut that bit off to keep that neat. Oh, we're getting there. Liking it. I'm also beginning to embrace sideways and upside down writing. So my flap is going to have a sideways, some sideways writing on. Oh, Christopher Robin's storybook, I like that. And I think I may keep that uh, deep edge there. Yeah, with uh, hardly any writing on. Yeah, I'm going to. Now on this one, I'm just going to glue flap and then stick it to the book page. It's sometimes easy with collage to glue what you're sticking it to rather than what you're sticking. Right, another one of these. So I could have done this on glue book really, couldn't I? It's just basically having something down so your mat's not that sticky that your project ends up stuck to it. You want it stuck in a journal, not on your mat. Oh, popped in a journal. Like Melina said, these are lovely and neutral. So you can pop one of these in any journal you're doing. Right, I'm going to pop that there. I'm going to line it up with edge. No, I'm not. I'm going to put it further than edge. I want some to fold over. Yeah, yeah. Do that, do that. <laughs> do I know what I'm doing? It's debatable. Look, yeah, I'm going to fold some of that book page over. So we're not going to have all that white on front. I'm calling it white, loosely. All, all the uh, blank. It's blank. There's no writing on it. I'm just going to do that one with my bone folder. Because it felt to be getting a bit wrinkly. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my big scissors. And I'm going to cut up there. Yeah, it's not... It's more matted than collage, this one, isn't it? But I like the look of it, you know, because I'm going to stamp on it rather than stick tickets on. I wanted a nice big area, a book page to go at. It's still using up your mankill book pages, isn't it? Right. Yeah, and I've used a quite a slightly thicker book page there. It's just made that uh, flap a little bit more robust. I'm going to put a bit of glue on that bit now and fold it over there I mean shot get back in the camera you silly woman if you're gonna craft on your knee point camera there so that's that I know we've still got them bits to do and then that bit I'm gonna crease it and decide how much of that I want. Because I've already stuck that there. I'm just going to rip it off about there. Whee. There we go. And I'll probably stick that. Oh, is that? Oh. Yeah, that's going to be perfect for there. Then we'll just need a piece there. I'm just going to do this with bone folder a bit. So then it's time to put glue on here. I apologise if you know how to do this and I'm like talking you through it like you've never seen a book page in your life before, aren't I? <laughs> and this is a book page. We had these in olden days before t internet. <laughs> People used to read them. 
before they had these fancy little handheld devices. <coughs> right, so yeah, I'm just going to carry on. Could I put that bit there? Yeah, I think I will. No, I want it there because I want to keep that bit. I like it. There. I just want to place it so that... Yeah, so just glue it back it, woman, and then just stick it on instead of faffing. Faffage, not required. Oh, I do love a bit of collage. Melina said in her video that she collages when she's got no mojo. And yeah, it's fabulous for that. When you don't know what to do, just collage. Even if you're just doing a what is now called a collage masterboard, basically just collaging on a sheet that you can then make something with later, like a tag or journal card or anything. I like that. I have made all my writing got the same way there, apart from some that's upside down. It wasn't intentional. It just happened. So we've got that there. I think I'm going to stick to just book page on this one, you know, because... I've done just book page everywhere else on it. Right, I'll put that bit there. So I'll ink up this edge. All other edges, I'll just ink the whole thing. But it's just the inky edges around window I'm doing. I'm going to rip that off because it's boring. Yeah. Ooh, that come off. I've done it again. That's grey. I need to put some... I'll put one thing on that after that. Yeah. Do you even know what I'm on about? I hope so. What's that? Oh, that'll wrap around there a little bit, won't it? Yeah. Just glue it, woman. Stick it on. Stick it on, then you can see what bits are left to cover. I mean, you don't have to stamp these. You don't have to use book page. You could use some nice, pretty floral book pages if you wanted to get rid of book page still. Or if you just wanted to have a go. You could use digitals, anything you like. As Timmy would say, you do you. I do love that he says that. <laughs> right. I'm going to wrap that round there. Pity that's such a tiny bit. I wish I'd gone a bit further down with that. I'll just pop something else on to cover that bit of white. So we need to cover that bit up and up there. Ooh, could we be daring and put one sideways little bit on? We could. Yeah. If that's daring, wow. <clears throat> if I said that to a 15-year-old, they'd laugh, wouldn't they? Ooh, look at me being daring, putting a bit of book page on sideways. Ooh. <laughs> there we go. Wrap that round. On my first one, I'll show it you. I just happened to have this one book page that were a bit fragile, and it's a page from a French a to z so i just put that on in the middle after i'd wrapped all them others round i like it i stuck it on wonky i can even live with that there were no claps of thunder well really did not end so what we're gonna put here i mean you don't have to put anything there if you don't want but i'm gonna cover it up it needs covering that looks like a nice page yeah, I'm going to rip. You see it's so old, it's very fragile, this paper. I won't call it antique, but it's, it's a fair year, fair few years old. And I'm just going to... What I did on mine, I don't know if Melina did, to be honest. I wrapped it then inside there. I forgot if she did that. So let's glue it all up 
I'm going to grab this, pop that in there. This is so that the bit I'm going to wrap around don't get stuck to where we don't want it. Pop it on like that. Then I just want to trim these edges. Don't matter if I'm cutting that. I can see through that to see where my flap is. This one I'll turn upside down so you see what I mean. I'm just cutting that bit off. Matt, this is me just being picky and finicky with my collage. You don't have to do what I've just done there. I'm just going to tear that down. My fingers have got very sticky now. It's time for a baby wipe, I think, in a minute. And I'm just going to open that up. And fold that over. But like I say, you don't have to do this, but you could cut it straight for a long top there. I just think it'll strengthen that a little bit. So, happy days. I just think that needs a bit of art glitter under it. That's it. Nothing stuck together, which is a wonder. It really is, isn't it? <laughs> it's a wonder. And we've just got them few little bits on back to cover up. Grab some bits that are already in pieces. I'll put that, yeah, will that cover it all? That might. Yeah. That was silly, wasn't it? Crazy lady. Crazy lady. Oh, that's just that's gonna be just perfect. And I just want to rip that so it's not a perfect edge. Get rid of that top layer because it's a bit gluey. And get glue in. Don't matter that I've ripped that because you won't know when it's glued down. Doesn't matter a jot. Wee. That's covered enough for it up to make me a happy bunny. I'm just going to snip that. I oh, want just a little itsy bitsy piece for there. I can have a bit of white edge. I keep calling it white, and I, what I really mean is by blank. No writing. It's never been white. There you go. So that's all collaged. I really like that. Now, because this envelope is grey in there, I quite like it. I'm not going to put any more paper there. That is okay for me. I didn't do it on this one. But we did start off with the cream. I just folded some of the book page over and left that bit blank. I think the one Melina used, she got white on inside. So she just came in and did a bit of inking. Right, I'm going to round the corners on this flap. I'm using the biggest of my corners. And I noticed the other day that is equivalent to the corner that you cut with your envelope punch board. Just in case anybody wondered. And I'll be doing a video with my envelope punch board soon. And grab your ink woman. Finish inking up. There we go. I did put a notch in my last one, but my punch, boy, was it unhappy at punching through all them layers. So I'm not putting a notch you know just there i'm gonna leave it you're not gonna struggle to get things in and out because it comes lower down than the crease and i broke a punch on camera punching through layers of paper and glue once before i'm not going to do it again <laughs> been there done that got t-shirt 
Oh, I do like these. So yeah, I suppose up to now it's not much different to Melina's, is it? So hello those people who fast forward through the collage. Welcome back. <laughs> We've now done it. But I know when I first started, I'd not seen anyone collage around a window envelope. I'd, I didn't know how to do it. It might seem easy when you've uh, been doing collage and junk journaling for a while. But to a beginner, the things that can seem quite like, mm, yeah, that's easy, are not. And I know they're not for me. Sometimes the most simple thing goes right over my head. It really does. I'm just getting a bit of glow off me with my baby wipe. All starting to stick together. Ooh. Right. So now I'm going to show you how I did that uh, fastener. And I have prepared <laughs> earlier. I prepared myself a piece of card. And I stuck myself a piece of book page to it. Like so. Right, so all I did is I got a punch and this should work going through one book page and one card let me show you the original I punched the paper and the card separately for these and glued them together because it, it was the prototype after all now Melina has done this before I can't remember the project where she's made a button closure without having to go through to the other side of the project Right, so I've punched one of those. I don't know what size that button is. I could measure it. I've measured it before. I think it's about half inch. It's about half inch, let's say. It doesn't matter. Use what you've got. Don't go out and buy a punch the same size as mine if you haven't got one. Right, then I've just cut a strip. So I'm going to cut that. There. There. I'll tell you how big it is when I've done, but again, I'm just eyeballing it all. Now, I, it doesn't need to be any wider than the space you've got there. So this is where you could measure something, if you really have to. It's two centimetres, which is just a smidge over three quarters of an inch. So if I make this half inch wide, it's going to fit on. And I think half inch on here is just up to where blade starts. It's really annoying that you can't measure half inch on this cutter. That's not wide enough. That's not wide enough. Use your other piece that you've got left. I will not cut my fingers. Don't panic. <laughs> Famous last words. Oh, that's spot on. So, I've got a piece of book page there. It's straight-ish. Straight-ish is good enough these days for me. It really is. But I'm just going to make it straighter-ish. Straighter-ish. That'll do. And then I got my corner punch on small side. And I just rounded each corner. I mean, if you've got a punch or a die that cuts that shape out, go ahead and do it. I probably have, but it were quicker to do it like this than find it. There you go. So I'm going to ink around there. I think I'm quite liking brushes for doing inking edges. It's a lot quieter. I'll tell you. Right, ouch, that didn't hurt, don't know why I said ouch. So next we're going to need the cropper dial. Where have you gone, cropper dial? Should we just move a few, I'm just going to move a few bits out of the way. Pause, two ticks. Oh, that altered light, that, that didn't pause it, did it? Let's get light back, pause. That's better, you can see project. More project, less rubbish around it. So, get your cropper dial. I've got a, well I will have in a minute, an eyelet, I used a black one, I think I'll go with a black one for this one, use, use whatever colour you want, and I've got some teeny tiny brads, I couldn't find any bigger ones either, so 
I don't think the way Melina did it would have worked for me because look, my brothers are just teeny tiny. I have got bigger ones somewhere. Reason 26, I've shut my Etsy shop for a while. My craft room needs a good old sort out. There's too many things that haven't been put back where they live. Right. For the brad I used, I need to use the big side on the crocodile, which is the one eighth of an inch. Is it? No, it's the three sixteenth. I'm going to put a label on them big and small. <laughs> and I'm just going to do that hole there, ready for my brad. So that'll go in there. Now on this piece, I'm going to pop a hole through both. I'll get a pencil to mark where it needs to be. Yeah, place those together. And this time I'm going to use the small hole, which is the one eighth. Yeah. And pop your brad through them both. Like so. And then you're going to glue that whole thing to there. So you've still got your little button closure. And this is one that I saw when Melina did a, a journal. Yeah, I love that idea. But before I stick those on, let's do a little bit of stamping. I did cheat and I went ahead and stamped the journal card when I did my first one. I used my stamp platform. That is the stamp. It's gorgeous. And it's from the Papillion collection by Tim Holtz. It's a Stampers Anonymous one. So I'm going to round that down with the large one. I've used the same size envelope, even though it were a junk mail envelope this time, so it should fit. Oh, I just like that look. Like it. Right. The difference with this envelope is that's not as wide, but I'm hoping I can still... I might do a different stamp actually. Let's get the ones I used last time. That's the butterfly stamp that I stamped up there. I still want to do that because I like it so much. So I'll grab my ink. I'm using my Versafine Black Onyx. And I'm stamping this before I put my little eyelet in. I think it just might make it a little bit easier. I'm going to open that up to do the stamping as well. And eyeball, eyeball. There we go. Just press it in hold for a bit to let that ink transfer. But if it's not perfect, I won't, I won't be upset because it's a junk journal. I'm not making 50 identical invites for a party, am I? There we go. I do like the quality on these stamps. I just had to use that same one because it's so gorgeous. But I think down here I want to use a different stamp. There's one more in that set but I think it's going to be too big. So what I got out was some of these. That's yeah it's far too big. These are some of the ones I got when I went to the opening of that um, craft shop. Honeypot Crafts. The Phil Martin one. Last year. And I think one of these stamps is going to fit on here perfect. I've, not, I've never used these dragonfly ones. It is. Wow, they really are stuck to line as these. They're not going to get lost. Oh, that's going to be perfect there, isn't it? Absolutely perfect. So I'll get myself a stamp block. That one should fit nicely. Pick up my stamp. It has got like an edge round. So I'm going to have to make an effort to get this pretty straight. So I'm just going to straighten it up on blocks. I didn't do a right good job of it there. And let's ink that one up. Oh look. These stamps take ink really well. The photopolymer ones, they're not just the wibbly wobbly silicone. 
and they do go yellow with age so that's not a bad thing so if yours go yellow don't throw them away right let's see how well I can stamp this I'm expecting bits to be missing on this because I'm trying to stamp it quite close to edge where we've got lots of different layers of paper but I think yeah I can live with that I might have more chance of it stamping better if I put a bit of foam underneath but do you know what now I'm junk journaling I miss a lot of steps out that you're taught as a card maker because you're just like yeah whatever it'll be right I quite like that yeah we've got the dragonfly we've got the others it hasn't picked all the edge up perfectly but if you'd have put in a stamp platform you could have had another go or like I say put some foam underneath but for me that's spot on right let's put our bits and bobs on now to finish it off Whee. so that's that now i'm gonna put that there oh yeah it's gonna cover a bit at stamp up world end no not really i'm eyeballing it as well measuring i really have fell out with measuring lately i'm having a lot more fun as well just winging it Whee. is that about middle looks about middle to me yeah There we go. Just going to grab a baby one. I've got a bit of glue squidging. Oh, not a wet one. That will make a right awful mess. Get a dry one, woman. There we go. Have a little pile here of baby wipes. <laughs> In various stages of wet and dryness. Right, that's lovely. Now, what I've fastened mine with here is some of that black waxed linen thread that I've bought. I really like it. That's why I buy such big balls. I don't use it just for um, binding journals. I use it for other things like this. Here it is. So before I cut it, I'm going to measure. It needs to go round. And then I'm going to measure double, take double because I like to double it up. So it's going to get tied through that hole. Oops. <laughs> It's alive. Is that thread or is it a wiggly worm? It's a snake. Then did I go around? Yeah, I only went around that far. So I want about yay much twice. So I'm going to double it over. So if anyone asks how much thread this is in comments, I'm going to say yay much. Because as you can see, I haven't measured it. I'm not right into measuring it lately. I just thread the loop through and the rest through the loop like when you're doing a tag top sorted now what I did put on end of that one to keep them together is just a little bead so beads where are you oh I got, I got some butterfly ones but the only one that had holes big enough were right chunky see what I mean that's far too chunky so I didn't use it, I just used my little beaded ones. Where did you go? Have I put you away? I'm, I'm an absolute nightmare at losing stuff. Here we go. It's just a set of various little... Uh, I think I'm going to go for the same one because I liked it. It's not too, it's not going to add a lot of bulk in a journal. And you can thread this eyelash trim through it. If you don't have beads, you don't have to put a bead on. You can just tie a knot at the end if you want to keep the two strings together. Or you don't even need to do that. So, before I tie it, I'm going to wrap because I may need to shorten my thread a bit. No, I didn't. It's only just long enough, so tie your knots right at the end, missus. Or it's not even going to wrap around your button. So I would advise using yay much and a smidgen, maybe two smidgens. Yeah, that's just spot on. 
There we go, so that's how it fastens. We'll pop the journal card in. I think these are lovely. What a fab idea, Melina. I mean, depending on how you collage them, depends on how long they're going to take you. And if you're not going to waffle like me, oops, wrap it around again. It'll be quicker. Right, so there we have it. I really like them. I'm going to make another one again while my video uploads. And I think what I'll do on this one, because you don't want to watch me spend another hour making one, you see the butterfly stamp set, I'm going to use that corner perhaps and find one with a window over that side. Or what I'll do is I'll turn my envelope upside down before I start. Yeah, and that window at that side. I'll see. You'll see it on thumbnail. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed that. I've had fun making it. So give them a whirl. Oh, I think they're cute. So thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.